You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters. Well, I had a sneaking suspicion this might happen once the legendary Cheryl Miller got to do some work with Caitlin Clark and other members of the Indiana Fever you would start seeing some smoke, some steam coming off social media involving the idea that, well, Christy Sides should probably apply at Burger King and maybe Cheryl Miller would be an interesting fit for Caitlin Clark. I did go look. Cheryl Miller is only 60 years old and she could certainly coach for five, six, seven, eight years. Now, I've talked about the fact that if it was, if it was me, uh, I probably would jump out there and uh, look for a a uh, an NBA coach, a former NBA coach. But Cheryl Miller makes some sense too, and obviously she's not going to be uh, afraid of a star power after being on the sidelines around in, uh, NBA talent for years. Uh, this is just a little footage that dropped out there, folks. And it's not, no big deal. It's just uh, Caitlin Clark uh, sending up practice shots from way, way deep out. By the way, it's kind of nuts. Uh, I mean, those are a long way out, and she just knocked three down like it was just absolutely nothing. Um, so a lot of people are commenting about this situation, right? Okay. I've watched a ton of fever practices. And the plays that Cheryl Miller has Caitlin running today, Christie's sides wouldn't even try to do them in a game, let alone practice. All right, and that post, as you can see, has gotten a hell of a lot of views, 120,000 views on it now. And it's got a lot of people going, well, uh, Christie's sides might, might want to be a little bit concerned right now. Now, we know there's been a lot of fire around the idea that Christy Sides is ultimately not going to be the coach for Caitlin Clark long term. And I think more than a few of us believes there are games that are directly on Christy Sides' head for them having lost. All right? It just uh, strange coaching decisions, either benching Caitlin Clark benching Melissa Smith a couple of weeks ago randomly after the Indiana Fever had several strung together several wins and had come off a big win against the Liberty, uh, inexplicably benched uh, Melissa Smith. There's been a lot of very strange timeouts, as in I either called them at the wrong moment and stopped our own run from happening or waited way too long and let some team put up a, a you know, a, a 14-2 run on it without calling a timeout. And that's happened four, five, six times this season. Actually, that last scenario I just talked about. So, uh, as you can imagine, social media, uh, they talked about this, all right? Cheryl Miller coaching Caitlin Clark instead of Christy Sides. Uh, channeled a little Vince Carter action. It's over. It's over. Uh, Caitlin Clark with some comments, in fact. Let's just play this because uh, she was asked about Cheryl Miller. Interesting. What's a Cheryl Miller practice like? Gosh, I love Cheryl. I love her brother, too. He's, he's awesome, obviously, a pacer, too. Uh, we were in a little commercial together, so I love their family. They're just awesome people, um, and one of the best that's ever played the game. So um, I've known Cheryl for a little while now. I think her energy, that, that's what I love about her. Like, it's just can contagious, and um, it's fun. Like, I called her coach, and she was like, I don't know about that yet. You'll have to see how I do during yeah. the game. So, um, no, but it's super fun. And then, obviously, Andy Myers-Drysdale, too. Um, getting to be around those two, two people that have done so much for the game. Um, for me, it's super special. Like, there's still two people that I really look up to and, and idolize and appreciate everything that they've done. And for them to have this moment, too, and be a part of it, like, it's, it's just super cool. Let me point something out. Did you look at that smile when asked about Cheryl Miller 
how happy she is. I'm not sure I've seen Caitlin Clark look that happy all year long. Seriously. If I'm Christy Sides, that's got me a little concerned. I mean, honestly. That's that's very interesting. There's they're right there. A hug between the two, right? Let's just play that a little bit. Right there. Man, I got to tell you. Not great. Not great. Chris is going to have to start learning Chinese if Cheryl Miller puts on a clinic tonight. If they go out there and they beat Team USA, you're going to start hearing calls, folks. And maybe maybe we should. You know, seriously. Christy Sides should be nervous. Cheryl Miller being brought in to coach and meet Caitlin Clark could be bigger than just the WNBA All-Star game. Cheryl's knowledge and feel will take CeCe to another stratosphere in championships in Indiana. When she develops a mid-range, I want to make sure I get all this. Woo. Yeah. I mean, honestly... Honestly, eh, she'd be a good fit. It's kind of wild. Cheryl Miller has already been running better practices than sides. When can she sign the papers for the job? Woo. Cheryl Miller coaching Caitlin Clark, Aaliyah Boss, and Kelsey Mitchell competently while multiple cameras are rolling is quite possibly the worst thing for Christy Sides in terms of PR defense of keeping her job that is bad it's bad in just a world in a sane world Christy Sides would be fired Cheryl Miller would be offered the entire farm to coach Indiana moving forward and obviously we know the connection between the Pacers and their most legendary player Reggie Miller. Think about that a minute. You know? And obviously, the Fever, they're owned by the same owners of the Indiana Pacers. So what does that tell you? I think this is certainly worth watching, seeing how it plays out. It's a huge game. I don't know about you guys. I'm rooting for uh, Team WNBA. Versus Team USA, I just am, particularly because Tarasi's on the team, Griner's on the team, Cheryl Rivas coaching the team. I would love to see, and look, it would be an upset if they can beat Team USA, but look, Team WNBA's got a lot of talent on it. So they're not going to be just a pushover, I don't think. We'll have to see how this goes. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.